From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. You put this in your mouth and it is just zippy. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. Here we are together again on the radio. Did you see Mark Cuban? Mark Cuban now is being accused of... Uh, by the Securities and Exchange Commission of Insider Trading. <laughs> and he is angry. That's right. He guarantees he will prove he is not guilty. Isn't that what Martha Stewart said? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know Mark Cuban listens from time to time. Hey, Mark, if you want to come on and give your side, I'd love to hear it. Love to hear it. I would. I mean, it was a pretty uh, pretty serious allegation that was made against Mark Cuban. Would love to know what the deal is. Wow. Wow. By the way, anybody else notice a weird thing with uh, Yahoo? I tried typing in uh, to my uh, the URL news.yahoo.com, which I use to look at news all the time. And um, <laughs> I was told that the browser couldn't find that. And I checked the spelling and I logged it again and uh, didn't have. Let me try it again here. Wait a second. News.yahoo. Dot com. Sorry, we could not find the page you were looking for. <laughs> what is that? So I don't know if my browser's been hijacked or what's going on here. Did it come up on uh, your browser, Gary? Yes. Yes? I mean the same thing I found. Sorry, we cannot find the page you're looking for. So, did Yahoo go out of business or something? I mean, I, I read today, uh, so I, of course I had to go to Google News uh, to see the news. And it says here that uh, Jerry Yang, co-founder of Yahoo, stepping down. He's the chief executive officer. Following his inability to negotiate a takeover by Microsoft. So, uh, did Yahoo just stop providing news or something? It's there. Yeah. It says that at the top of the page. Yes, it says that at the top of the It says it's, what? That it's not there, but that it can't find the page, but then below it are links. There are, there are links to it, and then when you click on the link, it goes there? Yep. What is going on here? I'll try it again. News.yahoo.com. Go off on the page we're looking for. Then there's Yahoo News. And then it goes there. I don't get it. Why can't I type in news.yahoo.com and go to news.yahoo.com? What's the problem? See, I think something weird has gone on with the computers here. There's some kind of worm or virus. Or there's something going on. Anyway, so yeah, Jerry Yang. He's the ya in Yahoo. Did you know that, by the way? That's, that's how Yahoo got his name, Jerry Yang. Who's the who? I don't know who the who is. But, uh, yeah, Yahoo. I forget who, there was a co-founder, and I think it was who. So somebody had who in his name. And then there's the breaking news. When you finally get to Yahoo News, wait a minute, then I clicked on the Jerry Yang story on Yahoo News. Wait a minute. <laughs> breaking news, Yahoo to replace Jerry Yang as CEO. So I click on it. And then I go to a page that says, sorry, we could not find the page you were looking for. And what is that all about? Somebody doesn't want me to read the Jerry Yang story. So anyway, the co-founder of Yahoo, Jerry Yang, the Ya in Yahoo, he quit. So from now on, it's just maybe, wait, news dot who, H-O-O dot com. Maybe he wouldn't let them call it Yahoo anymore. Let's see. Anything there? No. That didn't work either. <laughs> 
This stuff drives me crazy. Anyway, yeah, yeah, the, the internet, little strange sometimes. And, uh, you know, we become so dependent on it, and then if it has one malfunction, or if it goes, if whatever element we use goes down for one day, you, you feel totally helpless. You feel totally screwed. Jesus. Unbelievable. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. I want to talk to you this hour about ways we are cutting back while things are tough. And we are cutting back in any number of ways. And even those of us with cashola are finding ways to cut back. Did you know that? You're probably assuming it was just you. Or just you and people who work at your office. But even people with money are cutting back. Because if you ever read the book, The Millionaire Next Door, which we've talked about on the program many times, the fact is that, you know, millionaires are cheap. <laughs> millionaires became millionaires in many cases, not because they inherited money or because they won the lottery, but because they are frugal by nature. And I'm one of them. I am one of them. And so uh, here are the ways that I am cutting back. And I am cutting back. I'm going to find out the ways you've been cutting back in the last few weeks as things have gotten worse. For example, I have been going through every service I get. My cell phone service, my landline service. I'm going through everything. You know, though, every bill. You've got little extras, right? Like your cell phone bill, depending on what cell phone provider you have. Maybe you pay $5 a month extra to send pictures. Or maybe you spend a certain amount to have unlimited uh, text messaging or unlimited uh, web browsing. Now, some of those things you actually use and some of these things I actually use. But I have been finding things I've been paying for because I've just been too lazy to call the phone company. Have you found yourself in this position? Have you found yourself cutting stuff out? How many of you have called your cable company and cut out, like, pay channels you never watch? Services you never use? How many of you have cut out three-way calling, call waiting, or any other custom calling feature on your phone? How many of you have seven telephone numbers and decided to cut back to six? <laughs> or five, or four, or three? How many of you are still paying for the cell phone of your ex-girlfriend? Oh, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> How many of you are paying, uh, you know, is, you thought, oh, it's only 10 or 20 bucks a month. What's the big deal? How many of you are paying for the telephone of an ex? I've been going through the bills and finding everything I've been paying extra for. I found I was paying, you know, and by the way, satellite radio is losing its shirt. It's hemorrhaging red ink. But uh, I found that I was paying six ninety nine a month for a satellite radio I can't find. <laughs> it's missing. I cut that right out of the budget. All of them canceled that. How many of you pay uh, for extra features at your bank? You know, it could be anything. Some banks still charge for online banking. Some banks charge extra for pictures of little kitty cats or puppy dogs on your checks. How many of those things have you cut out? How many of you have finally broken down and started using coupons? How many of you have finally broken down and started going to Costco, Trader Joe's, BJ's, Sam's Club, and all those other places you've been avoiding? I, for one, hate standing behind the people who want to get their free little sliver of chimichanga. But I'm spending more time at Costco, I'll tell you that. You know, another thing I've been doing, standing in line at Costco for gas. The other day I got unleaded premium at Costco for two forty one a gallon. Two forty one. So if I had to wait an extra ten minutes, that was fine. You know another thing I'm doing? Cooking more. I bought an oven. 
I redid my kitchen over the summer, and now I'm just using it all the time. I've been staying home and cooking. I've been uh, plumbing the recipes and cooking. You know what? I've been enjoying it, too. Oh, yes, and I cut back on various services that I use. I'm using less of them. I told you I cut out the newspaper. No need to be paying for that. And uh, yeah, I'm paying down uh, any uh, mortgages or any debts I have that incur interest. I'm not paying interest on anything. I don't care if it's margin interest. I don't care if it's mortgage interest. I don't care if it's interest on a car loan. I don't want to pay more interest on anything. So I'm cutting anything out that might incur interest. Seriously. You know another thing I'm doing? I'm drinking more filtered water right out of my refrigerator instead of uh, drinking as much bottled water as I was. I've cut back on bottled water. So now all I have to do is buy a filter once a year for my refrigerator, and that's it. I get cold water out of the door. So I'm wondering what you have cut back on. Now, we've talked about this before, but as things get worse, many of you probably never even thought about cutting back on these things. So I'm wondering what you've cut back on as times continue to get harder. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-8666. The Tom Likas Show. Tom like his show? You bet it is. The one eight hundred five eight hundred top. Still the same low price, by the way. <laughs> you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to uh, cut back in this area. You can continue listening as much as you like. Uh, we have not started charging for the show yet, though anything's possible. Well, let's see what people are cutting back on as times get tougher. Stephen on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Stephen. Long time listener, first time caller, and I thank you for all the wonderful work you've done. I wish I'd known you before. But anyways, here's my case. I told my wife to fire the gardening guy because we were spending too much money and we don't have enough to waste. So I'm doing the gardening myself every Saturday, and I also cut on some form features such as the call waiting, the uh, call box numbers, uh, call return, and all that. I just left the phone for my Internet purposes only. That right. call, just one line, 10 yeah. bucks a month. Uh-huh. You know what? I have three phone numbers at home. I don't need three phone numbers. I think I'm going to cut that back to one. And you're going to love this one, Tom. I have a family plan, and I just raised the monthly bill for my wife. Instead of she paying $40 every month, she's paying 50 <laughs> your wife, well, uh, your wife is paying more. Do you guys have separate money or what? We have three three lines, one account. But I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I have the main account, so I have to make sure that I make the payment. So here's right. the deal: I call, look, we ha you have to pay more because economy is bad and the gasoline is going up. And she said, "Well, how come you're charging us more when the gasoline is going down?" Hey, I just gave you a break. <laughs> look at you cutting back. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, what are we cutting back on now that things are getting worse? David on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Tom, what's up, dude? Uh, not much. Right on. Uh, well, one of the things I'm cutting back on, I do a lot of sales for my company. I go to Vegas quite often. I go there, I usually get an escort, party hard, a lot of alcohol. What I've been doing is actually going to the happy hours at the casino I'm staying at and then going to the uh, massage parlor. And I've cut back at least <laughs> six to $700, honestly, every two weeks. Look at that. You know what I read somewhere, and I, I wish I could remember where I read it. Maybe it was the L.A. Times. There's a couple of legal brothels in Nevada that they did a story about yeah. where where business is down dramatically. Oh, yeah. yeah. And these okay. poor ladies don't know what they're going to do. You can actually go to the Palms Casino, and you can actually barter with them. It's great. Really? Oh, they're fighting for you. Yeah, they're fighting for your money. <laughs> yeah, so that's... That's what I'm cutting back. I understand. Lewis on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tommy. Long time listener. Second time calling. 
Okay, uh, Mason on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Mason. Hey, listen, you know what? On Sunday, I found myself for the first time in a good couple of years buying the Sunday paper, not because I was looking to go out, but because I was looking for the coupons. Uh, it was just amazing. I felt like I was, you know, suddenly in my retirement years, but with no money. Wow. Yeah. By the way, speaking of which, you ever get Valpac? Yes, I do. And let me tell you something, Tom. I have been sorting through that thing and using everything I can, straight from the oil changes to the car washes, uh, <laughs> all of it. It's ridiculous. But you know what? It's amazing how much money I've saved. I got, I, here, here's a sign that things are bad, okay? Um, in Hollywood, there's a restaurant called Dolce. Have you ever heard of it? I have not, but go D ahead. Dolce is uh, it's on uh, Melrose, isn't it? It's on Melrose. Okay. And it's uh, for years it was a celebrity hangout, and I think Ashton Kutcher was the owner, wasn't he? I think so. And um, you would call there for a reservation, and it would be like, ha, 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 ha. you're not going to get in before 11. Ha, ha, ha. Well, uh, this week I opened my Val Pack. I swear I'm not making this up. I opened my Valpac, my blue envelope from Valpac, yeah. and in it was a two-for-one coupon from Dolce. <laughs> oh, man, are you serious? I'm not kidding. Oh, I wow. tell you what, if you want to eat a Dolce at 8 o'clock tonight, I'll bet you can get in. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm stuck on the 10 East because I'm over here trying to conserve gas, too, and... uh let me tell you, I've gone to the other side of town just to get the 231 a gallon in Long Beach. I, I, I understand. Of course, how many gallons will it take to get there? That's the question. I love when that happens, by the way. I love, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's the sports teams that told you, <laughs> like when I first came to town and the Dodgers told me that I could, I, I called the Dodgers. When I first got to L.A., it was uh, 20 years ago, first got to L.A., and I'm like, you know what? I, I am so into living in L.A., and you know what the first thing is I'm going to do? I'm going to call Dodger Stadium, and I'm going to get myself season tickets to the Dodgers. And so I called the Dodgers, and I got on the ticket uh, phone number there, the ticket extension, and a woman gets on the phone who sounds like she'd been working there forever. Hello? Oh, no, wrong button. Hello? Hello? D Dodgers, can I help you? Hello? Oh. Isn't button not programmed anymore? Yeah. Well, if you use the... Uh, oh, if I use the reverb first, I can't use the filter button. That's correct. Our chief engineer, Rube Goldberg, by the way, was in here, I guess, working on this over the weekend. So anyway, uh, yeah, I call the Dodgers and I get this woman on the phone. Can, uh, Dodgers, can I help you? Like, yeah, hi, I'm new in town and I'd like to get season tickets. Because I want to see the whole season of the Dodgers. I'm so excited. He's like, you want what? You want is this thing working though? You want what? Can we get this damn thing fixed? <laughs> this does not sound like a telephone anymore. Jesus. <laughs> anyway, skip the sound effect because we can't make that thing work consistently. So, uh... Oh, did you do that? The Dean just got a... T uh, Dean, I know you can get 845. T try for 8 o'clock at Dolce. See if you can get a reservation at 8. Yeah. No, don't, don't. 845. Anybody can do 845. You know. 845 at Moza. No, you can't. But 845 at Dolce? Come on. I bet you can get 8. Tell him you got your Valpac coupon. <laughs> on the phone. All right, good. Dean's calling Dolce to see if he can uh, get it. You're bringing his two-for-one Valpac coupon tonight. Anyway, I called the Dodgers when I first came to town, and I was like, uh, <laughs> I'd like to buy tickets to see the Dodgers. And I was like, are you kidding me? You want season tickets? <laughs> well, <laughs> you're going to have to get on a list, son. You're not going to get any tickets. You want season tickets? I can't believe <laughs> you actually thought you were going to call Dodger Stadium and you were going to get season tickets. <laughs> so I love nothing more now than when I turn on the Dodger game and they're giving away two tickets for every two you buy. <laughs> I love that. So when I got my Valpac envelope and I saw Dolce in there after I... We called Dolce. How many times we called Dolce for reservation? <laughs> Eight o'clock! 
<laughs> You're never getting in. Are you kidding me? There's celebrities that want to get in here. <laughs> you, you thought you could get in before 11? <laughs> So, <clears throat> when I got my coupon for two entrees for the price of one adult chair, I was like, <laughs> I love this. Tom like it. 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. The Tom Like It Show. <laughs> The Tom Like His Show. We're the shortest breaks we've ever had. Ever. I can't pee for the entire length of the show now. I can't. Well, maybe in the corner once in a while if nobody's looking. Well, are you kidding? Running down the hall to the bathroom? I'm getting it caught short. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. I'll pop some Flomax or something here. Say hi to a guy. We're talk- By the way, if you're just tuning in, we're talking to people about how they're cutting back in these difficult times. We have done this before, yes, but times have gotten worse. Guy on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom, Professor, and Dad, how are you doing? Doing great, Guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Do you like when people say long-time listener, first-time caller? I do, because then I get to say long-time listener, first-time caller. All right, man. Well, that's me, uh, a guy used to live uh, a neighbor of mine at an apartment before I bought a house in this terrible market. Uh, turned me on to you, and I've been listening ever since. So I love your show, and I think you're great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> But uh, on the topic of what I'm cutting back on, I'm, I'm a full-time teacher. I've uh, been licensed in the state of California since 2001. been a teacher actually since, a, since I left college in 94 uh, as a sub. And uh, you would think with all the need for teachers, I would have got a contract a lot sooner than 2001. But, you know, I'm just one of those anomalies. But my income is uh, approximately, well, last year it was about $2,700 after all the withholdings and everything. And... My mortgage is three thousand dollars a month, so uh, I pretty much pay one hundred and ten, one hundred twenty-five percent of my income every single month just to pay the house note, and that's been that way since I bought this house in March of uh, '07. Wow! <laughs> oh my! Yeah. So what and are you gonna do? Well, I'm I'm upside down on the on the property, and you know I I filed bankruptcy back in '99 when I was 28 years old, so. You know, to me, being at the bottom is no problem. I can work it from the bottom and get back to the top, but I was kind of looking forward to uh, July of '09 because that bankruptcy would have came off my record, and I'm, like, thinking, you know, in the good old days, they told you 7 to 10 years, it'd be off your record. Well, no, I'm here to tell you 10 years, and I filed in uh, '99, so it's a bummer, but I make the ends meet. I'm a single dad. I have a a 3-and-a-half-year-old, so it's tough. And you're a single dad, why? Oh, yeah, I knew we were going to get into this. Uh, my ex-wife decided that uh, things were done. Uh, I can't really get into the specifics, uh, but the bottom line is she decided she wanted to divorce me, and basically that was it. She left me, and we got divorced. And uh, How, old was your, how old was your son? Uh, he's three and a half now. How old he was, was he when, when this happened? Uh, she, well... Put it this way, he was born in May of 05. By one month in June, she was telling me she wanted to divorce me. Well, isn't that great? That's what kids will do for a marriage. Isn't that nice? <laughs> well, what's weird, too, Tom, I mean, this is really weird. All right? I don't, I've never met a woman that didn't have motherly instinct. I mean, this woman did not even want her own child on his first birthday. I couldn't figure that out for the life of me. Oh, my. Nick. Yeah. Nick on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Aloha, Tom. How's it hanging, brother? Hanging right, Nick. Oh, dude. I've heard everybody else's sob story about why they've had to cut back. It com- doesn't compare at all to mine. Dude, I had to quit smoking weed. It, this ain't even funny anymore. <laughs> dude, 60 bucks a week, just 
$2 for a small eighth bag. It's just gotten out of hand. I just, I mean, that's two fifty. I'm saving, yes, but you know what, man? Here I am, uh, tossing and turning at night. It just ain't the same, brother. I understand. And you know, it's like, uh, you know, unless I start making uh, a little bit more money, or unless I start, uh, you know, uh, I find God or something, I'm just gonna have to deal with it the best way I can. I guess so. I don't know. Right on, Tom. Thanks for, uh, thanks for uh, taking my call. Can you take me out travel style, bro? Here you go, Nick. How are you cutting back during hard times here? 1-800-5800-TOM. That's your telephone number. Jennifer on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Love your show. I listen to it all the time on the way home from work. Thank you. Um, I'm calling because what I'm cutting back on is my $4 a day cup of coffee. I used to go every day to the coffee bean, three sixty-five, and then I threw the change in a tip every day. Oh, boy. I know. I actually just went and bought a coffee pot. By the way, what exactly was that tip for, anyway? You know, I guess you just felt because it was I was going there every day and you get to know the baristas there. It's kind of like a guilt thing, I think. Oh, I never felt that guilty. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to kind of call and put my little two cents on what I'm... Because it really adds up. Four dollars a day. Uh, can you afford to put two cents in? Maybe you just want to put a penny. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Um, you see out with the bong hit? Yes, Jennifer. Here you go. Bong hit for you. Can we all just get a bong? It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. How are you cutting back during hard times? Will on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Good evening, Tom. How are you doing? Doing great. I want to tell you I'm cutting back. I uh, I work at a paper mill, and uh, we're actually getting shut down for two weeks just because nobody's buying paper, if you can believe that. Nobody's so, buying uh, paper? Yeah, I work at a cardboard. We we make paper for cardboard boxes, and the the one thing that you see everywhere in the stores is cardboard boxes, and people just aren't buying it. The, the I now I did read that there's people buying pink slips. There's a lot of people buying those. That's a fact. But uh, anyway, I actually just had my internet service turned off two days ago, and uh, I figured I could save money by going next door to a coffee bean. And sitting in there and using their free internet, but I can't even afford the coffee. <laughs> I go, <laughs> I go in. How embarrassing is it to go in and ask for the internet code and not buy anything? It would be cheaper to have internet service at home and a coffee maker. That's true. Anyway, can you take me out with a bong hit? Yes, will I can. I'll take out with a bong hit. Same low price. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Ginger on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom. Ginger. Oh, God, I love your show. My husband and my son can't believe that I listen to your show all the time. Neither can I. I am in Temecula. In fact, I was just listening. I just, uh, I'm in the wine business. I just did a wine tour and heard your show. Uh, I've been lucky. Uh, people are still drinking wine. But my husband just got laid off six weeks ago from a chain restaurant here. They're closing down right and left. And so what we've done to cut back is, well, the first thing, we cut back our, our uh, can I say dish network? <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> but we've cut back on that, and uh, we used to pay 100 bucks a month for that. Channels, half of them you couldn't even watch. And what we did was we just spent the money and uh, bought an Xbox, and now we download every TV show and movies for free. I talked to somebody I know recently who said they don't watch a lot of TV because, you know, like on ABC, they'll say, watch tonight's episode of Ugly Betty free tonight on ABC. There's people actually who have cut out their cable who go to the websites of the TV networks, and they're watching the shows online. Absolutely. In fact, as a matter of fact, I'm just going home, going to make a great dinner, have some great wine, just got off work, touring some great wineries. i got to hook you up, Tom. Hook me up, darling. I'm ready. 
I love your show. I listen to you. I put your wine show on every uh, night that you're playing uh, for my customers to listen to. Love it. Thank you. And uh, basically, I'm uh, going to go home, fix a great dinner, have some great wine, and we just downloaded for free uh, uh, the new Playboy Bunny show that, you know, the hot bunny, whatever it is. Uh, so it's going to be, you know, we didn't have to go out and buy the DVD. Wow. <laughs> There you go. Well, thank you for that. She's, she's just uh, got the hot bunny. What is that? Free porn. Free porn? <laughs> one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Dwayne on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Um, actually, I'm not really cutting back because thanks to a lot of your financial advice, I'm okay. Cool. But I've been a server for a while, and... Where I used to get 18 to 20 percent tips. I mean, I was pretty much banking. Now people are barely leaving like 10 because of the economy. I have to believe also some of your customers probably aren't coming in at all anymore. Well, we're still getting, we're, we're still pretty busy. It's just no one is really leaving any tips. Now I have a couple of customers that, that come every day or every other day that still leave me, you know, pretty good money. But for the average person, it's not happening anymore. Even at dinner time, when you sell wine and you sell alcohol drinks, you're still only getting, you know, ten percent, wow. and it's really starting to affect a lot of people. And a lot, most, a lot of the servers are going through the same thing. Because at first, I thought it maybe it was just me, but it's not. It's actually everyone there. And the restaurant that I work at <clears throat> here in town is actually considered a nice restaurant in this town. So, yeah. So, but thanks to your financial advice, I'm okay. But it's just pretty tough. Dwayne, uh, thank you for telling us about that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Evan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Hey, I just want to tell you, uh, the beginning of your uh, of this uh, excerpt here, you were talking about uh, you're cutting out your uh, your newspaper costs. Yeah. Um, my wife's a stay-at-home stay at home mom, and we just get the uh, the weekend paper. And she uh, she cuts coupons. Uh, you know, spend hours doing that. And By the way, I can read the the best parts of the L.A. Times on my cell phone. Right. Well, so yeah. why would I buy it? Well, not but no, just for just for the the, uh, the store ad. Oh, I see. And like Sunday paper and stuff, you know. So you can get a you know a list of all the going out of business sales. You can get the circulars from Mervyn's and the Shoe Pavilion and Lennon's and things and all the other stores going out of business. Right. She cuts most of them though for for grocery shopping, and she'll bounce around between like our local our local stores are like Stater Brothers, House, and stuff like that. She'll uh, she'll go buy one hundred and twenty dollars worth of groceries for like forty bucks. Well, that's pretty good. But did you know that uh, Smart Source, which does all the coupons in most uh, local papers, they have a website SmartSource.com, and you can get a lot of the same coupons on there without buying the paper. Oh yeah, tell me about it. She, yeah, she, she, like I said, she's a stay-at-home mom. She's got all the time in the world for that stuff. She puts the kids in the car and she goes over, she goes all over the place looking for good deals. Who needs the newspaper? Yeah, yeah you can, you can, you can find them and you don't need the newspaper. Go for it. But I tell you, the LA Times, they got that. Uh, I think they got Thursday through Sunday. It's like, it's like less than ten bucks a month or something. Well, that, that you know, because the number of people who subscribe to the paper is uh, dropping dramatically. Right. Uh, that one day they're going to give it away like uh, it's going to be like the penny saver. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be the ghetto paper. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Evan. Yeah. Appreciate the call. 1 800 5800 Tom is our telephone number. Times are hard. How are you cutting back? Tom Likas. 1 800 5800 Tom. Tom. 1 800 5800 866. The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. With the shortest commercial breaks we've ever had. The show moves faster than it ever did. I can barely keep up with it myself. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. And our question for you is, uh, times are hard. How are you cutting back? 1-800-5800-866. Mark of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Doing okay. Hey, first time, a uh, long time, believe it or not, you're going to love what I cut out. What's that? Serious satellite radio. I told you that was going to happen eventually. I told you. 
Hey, I'll, I'll go you one better. I had uh, I had about twenty one hundred shares of its stock at uh, at about six thousand dollar value. Now it's worth about seven hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew you'd love that. I, I, I had to let you go out a little bit. A former company I once worked for in this business, I won't name them. You can easily figure out which one it is. I found out that if I take $15 million in pocket change, I can own the entire company. At its current yeah, share price. That I absolutely believe. It. That yes. this, uh, this time, yep. Yep, that's the way it goes. And uh, boy, I was a real sucker there. Oh, my God. Oh wait, thirteen million. Yeah. Price went down today. <laughs> hey, take me out old school, please. <laughs> Here you go. Think I should buy it, Gary? <laughs> buy one of the companies I used to work for. You know what else I found? Uh, this is true. Just to give you an idea of how bad times have gotten, uh, the radio station I once worked for in Virginia it was on eBay. They were, I swear it's true. They were selling it on eBay. <laughs> I remember I got the job there, and I was all worried about showing up, and the boss used to yell at me and stuff. Now I just get on eBay and buy the damn station. Of course, then I'd have to sell advertising in the Great Depression number two. <laughs> there you go. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. How have you cut back in this uh, era of, uh, you know, recession? Dave on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How you doing? Doing great. Good. Well, I cut back by shopping at the Mexican market. Now, do they sell items there cheaper than, like, I don't know, Ralph's? Way cheaper. Actually, I, really? was, in, I was in Albertsons the other day, and I have my cart all loaded up. And I looked at the prices of everything, and I said, forget it, I'm leaving. And I went to the uh, Mexican market where I, I'm actually a chef, and I buy my cooks, uh, you know, carne asada and stuff sometimes, and I knew it was cheaper. Went in there, and it was less than half the price. <laughs> I can't believe that. I, I thought they'd be more expensive for sure. No, dirt cheap. Chicken at Albertsons was twice as much for the same exact chicken. Wow. Yep. It's unbelievable. I am in shock. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number here. Let's say hello to uh, <laughs> Nick on the Tom Likas Show. We're finding out what people are cutting back during hard times. Hello. Hey, Tom. It's Nick here. And I tell you what, it's really tough when people have to cut back on necessities. I've heard all of your callers, and I'll tell you, I'm saving the crying towel for someone else. The reality is I've had a cut back on my fun drug, Viagra. Does anybody know how much that stuff costs? And there's no discounting it. <laughs> only, only, I'll share this with your listeners. You want to get a discount on Viagra, have your auto club card handy. You want to pick up 30 pills for a nice weekend, and I'm boasting now. You're talking $300 plus. But you're boasting about having to use Viagra? What's the boast? I don't get it. No, I'm talking about 30 pills for a weekend. 30 pills for a weekend? Well, yeah. even then. Uh, there, there are some guys who have 30 erections in a weekend and don't have to take a single pill. Well, they used to, you know, keep in mind, they used to have a pill before Viagra, <laughs> but they couldn't put it on the market because you had to swallow fast, otherwise you get a stiff neck. <laughs> I love these guys who brag about using Viagra. It's like the guys I know who say, know what I did this weekend? Went to Vegas, hired a hooker. That's right. A hooker. And she was hot, man. She was really, really hot. And I think she liked me. So I gave her 750 bucks. I hired a goddamn hooker. That's what I did. And what did you do this weekend? Sat around and watched football? I hired a hooker. <laughs> I'm not bragging, but I used to get 30 Viagras for the weekend. <laughs> 30 Viagras. He's now blind. <laughs> he effed himself blind. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Michael on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Father. Son, how are you? I'm doing great. Have you ever heard of free-to-air satellite? Of what? Free-to-air satellite. No. 
Well, it's a Sonic View, and it's sixteen hundred dollars worth of programming a month for a one-time price of three hundred dollars. So it's and, it's bootleg service. Yes, sir. And I love it. I don't really? pay. I don't pay for my satellite system no more. And what happens when they catch you? Uh, well, there's no way they can catch you because, you know, they're not just going to come into your house, and there's no way that they could test the system. They don't have anything they can point at, at the satellite dish to know if you got satellite. Well, I don't know. I know that they they nailed a whole bunch of people on Direct TV for stealing Direct TV. Uh, okay. Simply by okay. sending some burst of some kind over the satellite that uh, the illegal uh, receivers couldn't handle. Because they're using their names to buy equipment off of the Internet. They, they're leaving a paper trail. I see. So, you, so you're stealing satellite TV. And that's well, how yeah. you're saving money? Okay. I'm just asking people how they're cutting back. I'm not being judgmental about it. I did pay for it, though. Well, <laughs> In a way. Yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> you, you paid the guy who's stealing the satellite for you. That's who you paid. <laughs> Told HBO, hey, here's $5 for the year. See, I paid for it. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Roberto on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? Great. Uh, I have two ways I'm saving money right now. Uh, the first way, I'm, I, I downsized my 22-inch rims on my BMW and got 19-inch rims because you know the larger rims have larger tires, which cost a lot more. But you already had the tires, right? Uh, but they're about to wear out, so I put the old ones on eBay. <laughs> and got about like 2500 for a, for a set of four rims. Look at that. <laughs> now, did you get new chrome rims or did you uh, go to aluminum? Actually, I have painted aluminum. They're painted to Painting. look like yes. They're painted silver instead of the polish. <laughs> that's silver. The chicks the can't. The chicks can't tell the difference though. So that's all that matters. Oh, I I agree with that. So I agree with that, Hi, Roberto. Thank you so much for the call. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom dot com. You got that? You can write to me at Tom at blowmeuptom dot com. It's the Tom Likas Show.